we are ready to go. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world today. Thanks for being with us for another Grandstream webinar. My name is Phil Bowers. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Grandstream. I'm also joined by Hugh and Abdel from our support team, uh, who will be manning the chat for us here today. Um, and a really exciting topic to kick off um, our 2024 uh, webinar series here for you. Uh, 2024 sneak peek is the topic of the day. Uh, we'll be going through and, and really debuting for the first time anywhere in the world, uh, many of the products that, or actually all of the products that we're gonna talk about here today. Um, do wanna be clear that all of the products that we're going to talk about and discuss here today, None of these products are officially launched. None of them are available yet. As we go through, I will give you an idea of when these products are likely to be coming out. Um, everything you're gonna see here today is expected to launch in the first half of the year. So we're really focusing on uh, the next uh, three, four, five months um, worth of new products uh, that you're gonna see here today. Um, also want to mention that we're really focusing here on specifically on new products today, uh, not on existing upgrades or enhancements or firmware additions uh, to any of our existing products. All new products here today. Um, and again, everything we're going to talk about, uh, nothing, nothing, excuse me, nothing we're going to talk about has been launched. Um, it's all scheduled to launch in the first half of this year. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, this is pretty much the first time um, that we're really kind of debuting these products and talking about these products anywhere in the world. Uh, those of you that, that follow us closely know we traditionally do this type of webinar really kind of on a quarterly basis to give you an idea of what's coming up soon so you can incorporate it into your plans. And, and obviously, you know, as we're now actually the, the first day of February, um, you know, wanted to give everybody, as the year's pretty much just getting going, an idea of what's coming here in the next couple of months, so you can kind of factor that into your own planning as well. Um, so one other thing I do want to mention before we get started, just because all of these products are not released yet, uh, we will be answering limited questions about them. Uh, the majority of the information that we're going to give out about these products at this point uh, will be displayed on the slides that you're going to see. Um, so we'll be answering limited questions, um, but with that said, we are, as you, mo as you probably just saw, uh, we are recording this webinar and we will send out a uh, full recording of it to any of you, uh, to anyone that signed up, including all of you. Uh, we will not be providing these slides, however, it will just be a, uh, a link to a YouTube video to watch the recording of today's webinar. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Again, we've got 11, I believe it's 11 different products here today that are, are really being debuted for the first time anywhere in the world. Um, actually, all of the products that we are talking about here today, um, if you just happen to be in Spain or in that area of Europe, um, everything we're talking about here today is also being displayed and debuted this week at Integrated Systems Europe in Barcelona. Um, so if you are in Barcelona or you're planning to go, stop by our booth. It's in Hall 2. Um, we are booth R900. That's ours in red 900. You can actually see all of these in person. Um, and we'll also be, you'll also be able to see a lot of these in person at a lot of other events here over the next couple of months. So like I said, um, let's jump into it. 2024 sneak peek, emphasis on everything coming out in the first half of this year. Um, so the first product that we're going to talk about here today is a Wi, a new, it's actually our first Wi-Fi 6E access point. This is the GWN7665. This is a tri-band, obviously Wi-Fi 6E is tri-band. This is, this supports that obviously tri-band, two by two. Um, in terms of the antennas on it, supports all the way up to four or 5.4 gigabits per second. Uh, three, um, in terms of the wireless throughput, it supports 3.5 gigabit wired throughput through the ports directly on the device. Uh, 175 meter coverage range, 384 concurrent clients, just like pretty much all of, or all of our access points, PoE and PoE Plus. 
as well as support for an advanced view OS. Um, so again, the big thing here, this is our first Wi-Fi 6E access point. This is, and again, Wi-Fi 6E introduces tri-band support for up to, I believe it's six gigabits per second um, through the technology that is used in Wi-Fi 6E. Um, so that's really the, the notable thing with this device. Our, for, again, our first Wi-Fi 6E access point, this will be the GWN 7665. Uh, this product is expected to launch uh, in Q1, and I'm going to probably a couple of times here refer, refer to quarters um, it, when I'm talking about these product launches. Grandstream runs on the uh, calendar year, so we are in Q1 right now. Q1 goes obviously January to March, Q2, uh, April to May, excuse me, April to June. Uh, so we're expecting this product to probably launch in March. That would be my expectation at this point. Um, again, this will be our first Wi-Fi 6E access point. There are additional ones coming later on in the year. Uh, nothing that we're going to talk about here in this uh, webinar today, but there are additional Wi-Fi 6E access points coming later on in the year. This is the first one, GWN 7665. Again, our first. this will be our first Wi-Fi 6E access point, uh, and we're expecting to launch this in March. Um, so as we go here, most of what I'm pretty much going to move in chronological order. So the stuff we're talking about at the beginning will co is coming out sooner. And the stuff, the, basically the last three products we're going to talk about are coming uh, towards the end of the first half of the year. So let's move on to our next upcoming new product that we're giving you a sneak peek on here today. And this is the a continuation and expansion of what has become an incredibly successful product line for us, and that is the GHCP, GHP series of hotel IP phones. Um, so what we have now when you add these three, mo or these two, excuse me, these models into it, we have a very basic model, um, a handset with just keys on it, that is the GHP 610 and 611. We have a device uh, with a smaller screen on it that kind of has more of an emphasis on being able to customize the labels around the keys. Um, that is the GHP 620, 621. And here we have a full color screen, so kind of more on the high end um, of our GHP hotel phone series with the 630 and the 631. Um, the 630 is the white model, 631 is the black model, um, and then each of them will have a, a version, a W version that supports integrated dual band Wi-Fi. Um, and the really important thing to mention here with the Wi-Fi is that the, um, these two models, their Wi-Fi versions support Wi-Fi 6. Um, our support guys in the chat can tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is the first hotel, these are the first hotel phones uh, that we have that support Wi-Fi 6. Um, the non-Wi-Fi models will just, will obviously just not support Wi-Fi. Um, so a little bit of a pricing difference there between the Wi-Fi versions, non-Wi-Fi versions. They're all gonna have the 110, 100 megabit per second port. Hearing aid compatible, um, these guys include a USB Type-C charging port, which allows, you know, good for hotels, you can charge your, you know, your iPhone, for example, just by plugging it into this, uh, the side of this phone. These phones, excuse me, and they both support two lines and two SIP accounts. So, again, the continuation of our, our very successful hotel IP phone series, one of actually our fastest growing lines last year outside of networking products were these hotel phones. Uh, so we're going to keep going with them, and, and here we have what is basically the high end of our current GHP series. You got that 3.5-inch color screen up there at the top, which really differentiates these. And then you've got white and black options, Wi-Fi or non-Wi-Fi options as well. So that is the GHP 630, 630W, 631, and 631W. Uh, we're expecting to launch these likely in March as well, so about a month's time frame from now. We'll keep moving along here. Now we have, um, this is the first new deck handset that we have launched in a couple of years at least. Um, so as you can see, this is a really, in terms of the design of it, the look and the feel of it, 
we've completely reimagined and rebuilt the way that our deck phones look um, with this model. This is the DP725. This model is also expected to launch in the March or April timeframe. Um, this will be, um, it, it's hard to, I should have included a picture to kind of show you the sizing of this next to our existing deck phones. Uh, this is a really compact model. Um, I saw, got my hands on this a couple of weeks ago, uh, one of our internal meetings. Uh, put it next to my iPhone 14, and it was, if I remember correctly, it was about the same height, maybe even a little, like a couple of centimeters shorter than the height of my iPhone, um, and then maybe about half the width of it, maybe a little bit more than that. So it's a pretty small, compact device, but very sturdy at the same time, um, just because it has a whole, you know, matching a lot of what we've done with other phones recently. New kind of sleek, enhanced, modern look to it. Um, and, you know, in addition to that, it also now will become basically the highest end uh, within our deck cordless handsets. Up to 20 different lines per handset is really the, the big thing there. Got a dedicated push to talk button, which all of our Wi Fi phones and all of our deck phones have 400 meter outdoor range, 50 meter indoor range. It's going to pair with any Grandstream deck base station. Um, I think most of those of you that have used our deck solutions or, or use them know that um, our deck phones are only compatible with our own deck base stations. Uh, we do support a variety of automated provisioning options, including the zero config feature that if you're using Grandstream's uh, UCM series of IPPDXs with it, um, and full support for HD audio. So this is a new uh, compact deck cordless handset coming out. This is expected to launch in the March or April timeframe. Uh, first new deck handset that we've come out with in a while. Um, we've got a couple of more deck handsets coming out later in the second half of the year. Um, we also, towards the end of last year, released a, a new deck base station, the DP755, so, um, which is also the, the, became the high end of our base station. So here within the last six months now, we're kind of obviously, you know, reestablishing and kind of coming out with the new generation of our deck solutions uh, with that DP755 here with the DP725 handset, and then with some additional handsets uh, that you'll see coming later on in the year. So that is DP725, a compact deck cordless handset, again, coming out, expected to launch in March or April. Keep moving along here. Uh, some new network switches. Basically, uh, so these are layer two light cloud managed network switches. Um, it essentially fills one of the only remaining gaps within our network switch portfolio. We now have a whole, port, a whole series of unmanaged switches, both traditional gigabit and multi-gigabit unmanaged switches. We've got layer two, we've got layer three, we've got aggregation, and now we've got layer two light cloud managed network switches. So, um, you know, these two models specifically are the GWN 7, 7711 and 7711P. Uh, that P model will just give you four PoE ports, uh, up to 30 watts per second, smart dynamic power control, just like our other PoE switches. Um, the GWM 7711 will just give you the eight gigabit ports. You can see it there. The 7711 is the top one. <coughs> Excuse me. The GWM 7711P is the bottom one with the metallic casing along around it. So these are uh, layer two light. They are do support cloud management through our GWN cloud platform, which I'm going to talk about later has recently merged with our GDMS platform so that all of our all Grandstream devices can be managed from one platform um, with one login. We'll talk more about that at the very end. <laughs> Um, so again, these are uh, kind of filling one of the last remaining gaps in our switch portfolio, layer two light, cloud managed network switches, two models, one with eight gigabit ports, uh, the other one with, it has eight gigabit ports, but four of them are PoE output ports. Um, so with the, kind of with this, our, our switch portfolio really kind of, I mean, not kind of, does address every single need now. Again, we have unmanaged, layer two, layer two light, we've got layer three aggregation, and then we've got aggregation switches. We also, on the unmanaged side, have both 
traditional gigabit and multi gigabit switches. So, um, you know, whether you're installing UC, VoIP platforms, networking platforms, a combination of the two, or frankly, really any, anything else, even home automation, building automation platforms, obviously everybody needs switches. Um, and we're really excited now to really have built out a full portfolio. I think all of the GWN switches combined probably will, we probably have somewhere between 40 to 50 models at this point in time. So really the ideal model for everything, obviously. Um, so, you know, for all of your switch needs, whether you need these layer two late cloud managed switches or anything else, um, definitely check out Grandstream. You know, we've had a lot of success. It was it was our fastest growing product category last year. Um, yeah, and we'd love to you know, tell you more about it. Um, so yeah, that is the GWN 7711-7711P Layer 2 Light Cloud Managed Network switches. These are expected to launch also in March or April, so within the next couple of months. We'll keep it moving along here, and we've got a new um, it's the Wi-Fi 5 access point, but this is really uh, the continuation or kind of the next evolution of our GWN 7602, uh, which was actually one of the first access points that we came out with uh, four or five years ago. Um, and as you can see from the title here, this device is extremely popular and one of our best selling uh, networking devices for hotels. And the reason for that is the first bullet point you see there, this device it gives you two different gigabit ports, um, excuse me, it gives you four gigabit ports, but two of them um, give you gigabit ethernet ports with PSE. So the ability to power up, basically to provide power over ethernet to other devices. So this device can not only be installed in the hotel room to provide uh, Wi-Fi for the hotel room, but it can also then provide power and a connection for the phone in the room, for the TV in the room, if it's internet, uh, if it's an IP TV, for example, and, and pretty much anything else that, that you might be able to power POE with. Um, so it's a really flexible device, really kind of serves multiple purposes. Uh, very, frankly, very, fairly low cost and affordable as well, which certainly helps, you know, hotels deploy these in mass. Um, but so this is the GWN 7603. This will essentially take over for the current GWN 7602. Um, it has all of the same specs. It just ha it supports a little bit faster speeds. I believe the 7602 does 1.17 gigs per second, and this does 1.27. Um, so pretty much the same thing, just slightly faster speeds that it supports. Um, but again, this is uh, one of our best-selling networking devices for hotels, like I mentioned. Gives you the ability with one device to both provide a Wi-Fi connection, provide power and a connection to a TV, to a phone, and also just a, like have a port to allow um, hotel guests to plug in their laptop directly to the wired network, for example. Lots of different things you can do with it. So. Keep your eye out for this. Again, this, uh, this will take over for the GWN 7602, pretty much the same specs as the 7602, but just a little bit faster speeds. Um, and also wanted to point out the hotel angle for this, which is one of the, again, one not only one of our best-selling uh, devices for hotels, but that's where we see the majority of these devices going at the moment. Although it also because of all of that multi-functionality, it's great for people that work from home. It's also great for conference rooms, huddle rooms within an office, or for desktop stations as well. We'll keep it going here with another new upcoming Wi-Fi access point. Uh, this is the GWN 7660 ELR. Um, this is a Wi-Fi 6 long-range outdoor access point. Um, do want to be clear, we, it, you know, I, I admit it may be a little confusing to have the E in there. This is not a, this is a Wi-Fi 6 access point, not a Wi-Fi 6E. Um, just wanted to mention that since we do have the E in the product name. Um, this is a Wi-Fi 6 access point, IP67 weatherproof casing. As you can see just from the picture, um, if you are familiar with our other outdoor access points, uh, this is all internal antennas on this device. There are no external antennas. Everything's in it. It's a little bit, I think the base of it's larger than the base, could be wrong about that, of our existing 
long range outdoor access points, but there's no antenna. So overall it takes up actually a lot less space. It's all internal antennas. Um, again, because it's outdoor uh, long range, it is IP67 weatherproof certified. Uh, long range, meaning that it gives you up to 300 meter range. Uh, the big thing with this device, in addition to providing a long range access point um, without antennas, is it also now provides the fastest wireless throughput of any of our outdoor Wi Fi access points, all the way up to 5.4 gigs per second. Um, one thing that's, that's really also unique about this device in comparison to our existing access points and specifically long range access points is it includes a 2.5 gig SFP port built into it, so built right into it, also gives you uh, a, well, your standard gigabit port, but also has that SFP port built right onto it. I believe this is the first access point we have that does that. So. Uh, that is uh, obviously for fiber connections, uh, a big thing there. 256 concurrent clients, PoE, PoE Plus, Advanced QoS, et cetera. Um, so actually this, this product and the next couple of ones that we're going to talk about are actually all more Q2. So I would expect this product to launch anywhere between the end of April and the end of June. I know that's a you know, bit of a time frame. I believe they're two months. But uh, this, we're expecting this to be a Q2 launch, um, so anywhere between, um, say, the end of April and the end of June, as I mentioned. That is the GWN7660 ELR, Long Range Outdoor Wi-Fi 6. Again, our first um, outdoor long-range access point with all internal antennas, no external antennas, and it gives you that 2.5 gig SFP fiber port built right onto it. We are, we've, we're actually making our way through this pretty, pretty well here. Only got a couple of last things to cover. Although for those of you that have hung on, I think probably the, some of the most exciting or unique stuff that we're coming out with here in the first half of the year, I haven't even talked about it yet. So we'll wrap up with that here in just a couple of minutes. Um, so continuing to move on here through our uh, coming soon sneak peek products. We've got some new Wi-Fi cordless handsets coming out. I'm sure many of you know our WP series well. Uh, this is the next generation or the continued evolution of that series. These will be our first Wi-Fi 6 cordless handsets. Um, I'm sorry, not our first, but these are Wi-Fi 6 cordless handsets, so do support and do work with Wi-Fi 6, dual band Wi-Fi 6. Um, as you can see just from the look of them, again, they pretty much actually match the, the deck phone that I showed you earlier. So you can kind of see where we're going with the new generation of the, the designs of our cordless phones, whether they be decked or Wi-Fi. Obviously, this, these are two Wi-Fi models, um, you know, more compact, sleeker, uh, much easier to use. Um, so again, you know, you can, you can tell just from looking at them that they look different from our current devices. They are, um, I should have included a picture here to compare them in size to our current ones. They are more compact, um, but again, they are extremely sturdy at the same time. Got a little bit more of a sleek, kind of darker gray uh, matte finish to it. So I think they look really cool. Um, so it's a WP816 on the left. It's the smaller one. The WP826 on the right, that is the larger one. Uh, they both support, as I mentioned, dual band Wi-Fi 6. Uh, the difference between them pretty much comes down to the lines they support as well as the battery. Um, so the, the larger one there, the 826, is going to give you up to 12 hours of talk, continuous talk time through its battery, where the 816, obviously a little bit smaller of a battery, um, is going to give you up to six continuous hours. Uh, the 826, again, the larger one gives you three lines, three SIP accounts. The smaller one, 816, does two lines, two SIP accounts. Um, and they'll be priced to be extremely competitive and to fit right in with our existing portfolio of Wi-Fi phones as well. And just like uh, many of our cordless Wi-Fi phones, a couple of unique features I want to point out that we always find people are, are actually really interested in, and one being an accelerometer, so that is built into both of these devices. An accelerometer is basically what allows the device to, you know, sense if it's being dropped or flipped over or whatnot. Um, and you can program various functionality or create apps to kind of run specifically off that. Best example, 
co combine that accelerometer um, to basically, if it senses it's being noticed, to automatically trigger an emergency call to a certain line. Um, obviously, these are, you know, that's a great feature for warehouses, for example. Um, does also have a dedicated, both of these, a dedicated emergency button um, on the side of it as well to immediately trigger those emergency calls. So these are two new, again, compact, smaller than what we currently have, slightly smaller, uh, Wi-Fi 6 cordless IP phones. Um, these are expected to launch also in Q2, so I'm going to give the same time frame as the, the AP on the last one, anywhere between the end of April to the end of June. Um, so in Q2, probably the second half of Q2 is when I would expect to see these devices, the WPA16, WPA26, new compact Wi-Fi cordless phones uh, that continue on our WP series, and both of these do support um, Wi-Fi 6. I'm going to take a quick drink of water. All right. Uh, so yeah, we continue on here. I think off the top of my head, if I remember correctly, this is kind of the last new standard product that we're going to talk about here. Um, we're going to wrap up by talking about some brand new product categories uh, for Grandstream that you're going to see here in the next couple of months. Um, but this, this is a really cool device, honestly. The more that I learn about and get my hands on and play with this, um, this is a really cool device. Uh, so these are Android-based intercom and office control stations. Um, those of you that might be familiar with our product portfolio, we have a GSC 3570, I believe. I see there's a typo at the top there. This, these two products are the GSC 3574 and 3575. The difference between them is that one is one of the models is black in color and the other one is white in color. And you obviously see the white one here. So this is basically taking the GAC 2570 that we've had out for a couple of years now, really taking it to the next level because it runs Android. And this isn't a closed or locked down version of Android. Like our GXV video phones, this is an open version of Android. So this device, in addition to being able to do everything that our current GAC 2570 can do in terms of really giving you kind of an intercom and a security control station for an office, um, the ability to you know, have our, our door phones or different phones around the device kind of all go back to this device to allow access to various rooms or buildings, um, you know, around a facility, uh, the ability to, you know, trigger and kind of run an intercom system with all the devices on the network from here, the ability to tap into and view live video or get alerts from security cameras. So it takes all of that. And with Android, we have the functionality for this device really to be a full office control station. So what do I mean by that? I mean, um, HVAC, lighting, conference room reservations, pretty much anything that goes into the actual, you know, day-to-day -day management of running an office or running a facility can be done through this. As many of you know, you know, the, the kind of smart home, smart office systems where, you know, the lighting and the HVAC is all running on, on Wi-Fi system with smart apps behind them. And this device gives you a dedicated place within the office, within a conference room, within a you know, anywhere to, to kind of run all of that in addition to all of the intercom and security stuff that I talked about earlier. So really cool device. Again, the open Android takes it to the next level, runs Android 13. This is a seven inch touchscreen um, on it, dual band Wi-Fi 6 support. Uh, this device gives you eight alarm inputs as well. I think our 3570 only went up to two inputs if i remember correctly so eight alarm inputs so there's a lot of different things a lot of different systems that you can integrate with this device two alarm outputs support six different sip accounts on this device gives you a lot of functionality or excuse me flexibility to be able to use this device to switch between you know different lines or different users or different accounts um, we do have like 
I'm sure many of you who are used to our video phones know, we do have an available API and SDK for this device, which allows you to kind of take our operating system and use Android's um, API to create your own applications for it, to do anything that I just talked about or anything else like that. Um, you know, the example that always comes to my head is we, we've seen many different people use, um, you know, our and Grandstream Android API SDK for our video phones to create custom apps for hotels, to create custom, um, I think I mentioned this earlier, uh, hotel or conference room management applications or to use existing ones, whatnot. So tons of cool stuff you can do with it. Obviously supports the two-way calls as well. Um, so really cool, really flexible device. Um, gives you the ability not only to you know run and coordinate a whole intercom and security system, but also allows you to run and facilitate a smart office or a smart home or a smart conference room platform to you know to control HVAC and to control lighting and all of that type of stuff directly from this device. So really cool device. This is also um, expected to be a Q2 launch. I'm going to say probably the second half of Q2, so I would expect to see this in either probably late May or June um, is what we're looking at. And again, this will be the GSC3574 and GSC3575. One of them will be white, one of them will be black. That's the only difference in color. But again, the big takeaway here, an Android-based intercom and office control station. Really cool product. I, I'm personally am very excited for this. All right, we've got two slides left. And if you heard what I mentioned a couple of moments ago, a couple of really big, really exciting new things here that we're going to debut on this slide and then on the next slide before we wrap up. So probably got about 10 minutes left, maybe a little bit less than that at this point. So I'm sure everyone has seen what's on the slide already. We are very close, actually, to releasing cloud UCM and it is you can probably tell just based on the name this is taking all of the functionality of our award-winning long time you know a series that's been out for over 10 years now and that has become one of the world's um, actually most deployed IPPBA it's taking all of that UCM functionality and just putting it in the cloud hosted on AWS I do want to be clear we are not a service provider. We are not going, this is simply all of the functionality of our UCM in the cloud. We're not providing service. We're not getting into providing service. It's the same thing as our current UCMs work on that side where we will be compatible with all third party SIP services and, and the like. Um, so again, this is taking all of the functionality of our UCM IP PBX, putting it in the cloud, it will be hosted on Amazon Web Services. This will be a subscription model. Um, we'll provide a wide variety of scalability and cost effectiveness. We price this to be to beat all of the major current cloud IP PBX providers. Enterprise grade security and reliability as you've become used to with our other products. We're gonna support a variety of great third party integrations and expansions the same exact way that we do with our current UCM series, IPPBX appliances, all really easily customizable. All of the same points and selling points and advantages that we offer in the UCM, really just here being taken to the cloud, again, hosted on AWS. Um, so yeah, that is the cloud UCM. This is actually something that many of you have been asking for for a very long time. Um, and we're really excited to roll it out. Um, the reason why, so we're, you're likely to see this being rolled out probably in March or April is where, what we're looking at at the moment. The reason we're able to roll this out so quickly, and some of you are probably like, you know, I hadn't even heard about this until now. We've had this under development for, for quite a while, actually. So it's an incredibly stable, finished, fully developed platform. We kind of just had to put the finishing touches on, and then we can roll it out here very quickly. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited for it. I know we had said for a while that we didn't think we were going in this direction. 
Um, but obviously, you know, ev everything that we've seen in the world of communication technology in the last couple of years, much of it is moving towards the cloud. And, and you know, we are fully aware of that. We want to be there to support that and to help you do that as well. And here we got cloud UCM. Um, so we will provide a lot more details over the next couple of or over the next month or two. There will be a whole website. You'll be able to order it and purchase it online, uh, integrate it with your GDMS accounts and whatnot. Uh, so stay tuned here over the next couple of months. I know everyone probably wants a lot more information. This is what this is all that we're going to uh, provide now in terms of details. But definitely keep your eye open in the next couple of weeks. We'll be uh, basically in the next month, we'll be providing a lot more details, plans, features, functionality, um, all of that. So keep your eye open for that. That is the cloud UCM. Again, taking all the functionality of our UCM series, putting it in the cloud, host it on AWS. Again, we are not providing SIP service, we're not a service provider. This will be compatible with third-party SIP platforms and service providers the same way that our physical IP PBX appliances do. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for more information on this. We're excited about it. It's gonna come pretty fast too, because uh, like I said, it's been in development. It's a very stable platform. We're just putting the finishing touches on it. So keep an eye out for this. Um, you will see a lot more details on this very soon. So that is Cloud UCM. So one last thing here before we wrap up today, um, which is also another major new product category for us. Not just a new product category for us, but we believe a whole new product category in general. Um, and that is, some of you may have heard rumblings about this, we are calling it the GCC 6000 series. And what this is, is a, for now we're calling it a convergence solution. And what do I mean by that? This, these will be devices that will allow you to set up, provision, build, manage, troubleshoot, all of that, a centralized management solution for both your unified communications and your networking solutions. So basically, these devices will give you from one device the ability to set up every single aspect of a business's communication platform, both the unified communications, voice, video, video conferencing, all of that, as well as their wired, wireless networks, VPN, et cetera. Um, these will be four in one devices. They will combine the functionality of a router, a firewall, either a switch or a Wi-Fi access point, uh, depending on the model, plus a PBX. So this is essentially a UCM combined with a GWN router, and then a GWN switch and a firewall added into it. Um, super unique product, but something that we've been really kind of testing the waters out with for, uh, I want to say the last six to eight months within our partner database. Um, it provides a tremendous crossover appeal for all of our different partners. Um, if you're installing UC VoIP systems, this gives you a platform to easily start selling network wired wireless networks, VPN systems to your customers. If you're selling wired and wireless networks, this gives you an easy platform to get into unified communications um, and selling those platforms and services as well. Um, you know, again, just gives, one device, one location to be able to set up and install all of that. Um, you know, we think it's going to be really transformative potentially for small to medium sized businesses, potentially for business um, service providers as well. Um, so yeah, you're gonna see a lot more information about this coming up soon. Uh, this is all the information we're giving out uh, at the moment. Uh, this product is, these products, excuse me, are, well, are expected to launch, I'm going to guess, towards the end of Q2. Um, so May, June timeframe is most likely what I would expect. Um, there'll be both a high end to this series and a low end to this series. I believe we're rolling out the lower end models first. Um, and yeah, so this will be a whole new series for us, a whole bunch of models that are coming out throughout the course of the year and into next year. Um, will be a variety, you know, the models will be tiered 
in terms of user support, in terms of the, you know, obviously tiered in terms of um, how, like I said, how many users, how many, how many, excuse me, users on the PBX side, how many concurrent clients, you know, what the speed of the access point is, or, or whether it's an access point or a switch. That's pretty much how the models will be differentiated. But again, really something that, you know, we, we believe that this is, this is largely something that doesn't exist in the marketplace, something that we think um, from our own research that we're really going to be one of the first companies to bring something like this to the market. There are a few things that you could say are similar, but if that are out there now, but if you look at specifically at all of those cases, you will find that those products just, just didn't work frankly. Um, and it was created by a company that had expertise in networking, but didn't know anything about UC or was created by a UC company that, you know, didn't have any expertise in networking. We're really the only one of the few companies in the world positioned to be able to do something like this because of the expertise that we have on both sides of that. Uh, so we're really excited to bring this out. There's going to be a huge coming soon campaign. We're going to talk a lot more about this, about the concept behind it. But again, the whole the whole idea of this product is one solution that a business can run all of its communications platforms from both UC and VoIP, video conferencing, audio conferencing, everything on that side, in addition to wired, wireless networks, VPNs, et cetera, all from one device, one solution, protected um, centrally as well. Um, so keep an eye out. We'll put out a lot more info out over the next couple of months about this. This is the GCC 6000 series. For now, we're calling it our UC networking convergence solution, being able to combine and do all of that from one place. Um, and like I mentioned, these are expected to start rolling out in May or June of this year. They'll be both low end and high end, um, variety of different models with different support, with different features, functionality, whatnot pretty much the same as we set up our, our current UCM series. So again, we're to wrap this one up. We're combining the functionality. We're combining a router, a firewall, either a switch or an access point, depending on the model and a PBX all into one device. We're really excited about this. We've got some unbelievable feedback from our partner database. Um, like I mentioned a moment ago, we think this can really be very transformative within the small business, medium business, uh, marketplace as well as within the business service provider marketplace as well. So that is it. Oh no, I got one more slide, completely forgot, sorry. This is this is nothing new for, or it is new, but many of you have probably already caught on to this. Uh, before we wrap up here today, just do wanna mention one piece of recent news. Um, we recently have combined our two different management platforms into one. So GWN Cloud, which was is our uh, wired wireless network VPN, our networking management platform, um, has now been rolled into GDMS, the Grand Stream Device Management System, which we've had out for years and is our cloud-based um, UC endpoint uh, management system. So basically with this, you can now just go to GDMS, you can access both your GWN Cloud and GDMS, you know, your, your networking and your UC VoIP setups all from one location with just one login without having to go to each platform separately and log in and have different accounts for each, uh, which also should make it easier for, you know, managing deployed solutions. Um, but moving forward, um, it will all be within GDMS for now. I believe you can still go to GWN.cloud, um, but moving forward, uh, probably around the middle of the year, that will just be redirected to GDMS, and we will use the name GDMS for all of our um, device management, whether it be UC VoIP devices or networking devices. So um, if you haven't checked this out, definitely log in and check it out. This is There's nothing you have to do to facilitate this, um, our, our system will automatically merge your accounts if you have multiple accounts um, and then show it all and allow you to switch easily between your UC platforms and your networking platform. Okay, now that is really it. Um, pretty, I, you know, I, I feel like I always do this. I was expecting this webinar to, to be pretty fast and we went about 45 minutes. So 
I appreciate everybody's, you know, time here today. Went through a lot of major products coming out soon. Uh, went through pretty much all of the details that we have at the moment for all of those. Um, you know, the most of what we talked about, the endpoints we talked about, will will be out here within the next couple of months. Um, and then when we get into Q2, you'll see that Android um, comfort, or you'll see the Android management station. You'll see new Wi-Fi phones. Um, you'll see um, those convergence solutions as well. Um, and then again, in addition to those endpoints coming out here within the next couple of months, we're also expecting to launch that cloud UCM here in the next couple of months. So again, thank you everybody for joining us here today. Um, ran a little bit longer than I expected. Um, apologies for that, but hopefully everybody got a lot of good information out about this. Again, because they're you know upcoming products not launched, we're not really going to provide any more details or, or answer any kind of detail questions about it right now. Um, I know we had some guys kind of hanging out and and answering questions through the chat. Um, I'll hang out here for a couple of minutes, and we'll keep the the chat open here for a couple of minutes to to answer any other major questions that that we may have gotten. Um, but yeah, for, for everyone else, that's it for today's webinar. Um, we will did record it. You will get the full recording sent to your email. And you can keep an eye out for many of these products to start launching here uh, within the next couple of months. Some really exciting stuff, both some continuations and expansions and enhancements of our existing products, as well as some major new product categories for us. Um, and, and to give you a sneak peek for the second half of the year, and we'll start talking more about this maybe in Q2 or towards the middle of the year, uh, we've got some more really impactful new product categories coming uh, that we're developing uh, that you'll see the second half of the year. Again, all of it just continuing to uh, expand our solution to help us become and continue to be that one-stop shop for all communication solutions needs, whether it be UC VoIP or networking solutions. So again, uh, thanks for being with us here today. Uh, we'll send that recording to your email. I'll hang around for another couple of minutes to answer any final questions through the chat. Uh, but yeah, for everyone else, thanks for being with us. I uh, hope to see you again soon at another Grandstream webinar. Um, you know, it's the first day of February, so happy February to everyone. Hope everyone's 2024 is off to a great start. Um, hopefully we will see many of you in person here over the, the next couple of months at all the events that we'll be at worldwide, um, which is also a great place to get your hands on or see a lot of this new stuff that we talked about here today, as well as some other new exciting stuff coming later on that we didn't talk about here today. So yeah, we'll wrap up the webinar again. Thank you everybody. Uh, hope to see everyone again soon and take care. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day.